on deportment. Shoulders back, chin down, arms loosely by the sides, feet together, one foot slightly in front of the other, the weight on the back foot. Now I'd like you to take three steps and turn around. Again. Shoulders up a bit more. That's right. Now take a deep breath and walk to the blackboard. Take three steps and turn around. Feet together. Wait on the back foot. You may go and sit down. Get ready for your next lesson. Queen's resolve and her doubly royal reign of sixty years. That would be very nice, ma'am. During one of the earlier visits of the royal family at Balmoral, the late Prince Consort, dressed in a very simple manner, was crossing one of the Scotch lakes in a steamer. He was curious to note everything relating to the management of the vessel, and among other things, the cooking. 
Approaching the galley where a brawny Highlander was attending to the culinary matters, he was attracted by the savoury odours of a compound known by his Those ladies, first of all, that piece of uh, film was made in Burtonport and uh, done low during the week. Uh, the cameraman was Tony Kernan and on sound Michael Walsh of RTE's crew for the Northwestern area. Now, those ladies call themselves the Victorians. Let us meet two of them and see what they are about. Would you welcome, please, Miss Tyrrell and Miss Rayner. Sit down there, please. And that's Betty Mamoudi uh, beside you. Yes, take a seat, too. Now, Miss Tyrrell was born in London to a family of teachers, educated in English. This is Miss Tyrrell here at Oxford, and herself taught kindergarten for many years before chucking it all in order to move to Ireland to live what she considers a better way of life. She is the mistress of the house. And Miss Rayner is originally from New Zealand, worked for many years in Australia as a legal secretary, and she too then felt that she would be better suited in the, in the past rather than in the hustle and bustle of the modern world, and her position in the household in Burtonport is that of housekeeper. Now, a lot of people, Miss uh, Tyrrell, will wonder, what are you actually up to in Donegal? What is all this about? Well, in our house in Burtonport, we live as Victorians. We... I am the mistress, Miss Rayner's the housekeeper. The other girl that you saw on the film is Sophia, and she's the maid. And there are also um, other people uh, in the house who are um, my friends, and we think of ourselves as, as the family, although we're not related. Yes. And what is the purpose of this experiment? Why are you living this way in these clothes? Well, we, we live this way because we like it. Um, because we um, have fun um, dressing in uh, beautiful feminine clothes, um, because uh, we enjoy listening to records on our wind-up gramophone and uh, different ways that we have of entertaining ourselves. We don't concern ourselves with the present at all. We live in a little world inside our house. We like the beauty of the area we live in and that one drives through if one's going to Donegal Town or somewhere like that. It's, it's a world apart, really, where we are. When did you buy this big house in Burtonport where you live? I bought it six years ago. And what year are you living in? Is there a precise well, year or, no, or there isn't, an era? No, there isn't a precise year. Um, we, the, the, the different members of the household actually favour different periods within the Victorian era. Miss Rain is rather more of a late Victorian, and I'm a very early Victorian. I like being um, following Queen Victoria's early part of her reign and, and enjoy um, being demure and, and modest and ladylike. And um, uh, Miss Linda Terrell, who is a distant cousin of mine who lives with me, uh, she favours crinolines. She, she, um, this isn't a crinoline, this is too early for crinolines. You see, underneath dresses such as this, you'd wear many layers of petticoats, but she favours the crinoline area yeah. herself. And, and is this an escape from the hustle and bustle of the modern world? Is that, is, is that it? No, we see it as something much more um, creative and enjoyable than that. Um, we do very active and full things with our life and we don't see it as an escape, no.